I welcome this video about Michael Leonard, who's possibly the least known professional uh, signing for Ineos or any one world team uh, for next year. So he's a Canadian boy. Uh, he's been racing in Italy. This is Ballero nel Cuore, um, which is a, his first race, I believe, in Italy as well on the 20th of March this year. And uh, I just want to go through this race, but also some of his other results, because he is pretty pretty strong boy. Uh, and some people in the comments said that I should do a review of him. So anyway, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wins this year. Uh, well, nine, including points competition. So yeah, really, really strong. You can see his second wheel here. He's definitely bigger than a lot of the other Italian guys. This is a summit finish. So obviously the main people going to be there are the climbers. And yeah, he's got his teammate to set pace on the front. Uh, it's, you know, a steep final, but it didn't look too bad um, all the time. But you can see everyone else behind him. And um, according to what I've read anyway, he, he only started riding a bike like a couple years ago. But I think he clearly has just mad watts, which is why Ineos wanted to sign him straight away, I guess, on, you know, on a finish like this. Uh, it really is watts. But you can see here, he starts to go on the attack here. Uh, and the guy behind him um, is following. He's really, really small. And you can see he looks very comfortable. Um, to be honest, his technique out the saddle is sort of, is rogue, but I guess, you know, if you haven't ridden a bike the whole time, it's a little bit not, not perfect. But anyway, you can see he's like here, just out the saddle looks very, very comfortable, um, in terms of like breathing and all the rest of it, uh, looking around as well. So pretty big awareness of exactly what's going on in the race. And you can see he's just upping the pace, upping the pace. And here, this is when he actually up the paces even more. And the guy behind him, you can see, is all over the bike, trying to hold onto his wheel. And he's still looking around. Like, honestly, it seems like he's like, now, oh, yeah, I'll attack now because everyone else has dropped. And he looks kind of surprised about it. Here, you can see, like, a little bit um, of a lower cadence than what you might see. The guy behind him, poor lad, he's absolutely gone. Um, but, yeah, Michael Leonard has had some very strong results. Worlds wasn't, you know, the best um, results in the world. He finished 50 first in the uh, road race, didn't do the time trial. Um, but yeah, winning, you know, a lot of these junior races, I don't really know much about them, but he wasn't outside the top 10 except Worlds in any of the races he's done this year. So super, super strong. Um, only like 19 years old uh, or 18 years old, turning 19 um, next year. Uh, but yeah, really interesting to see like why Ineos have signed him, but I guess it's because they expect him to do well um, on the upper finishes. I think though it's hard to tell exactly what rider is he's so young, but yeah, interesting guy to keep uh, keep looking at in the future. I'm not sure what he'll do this year. It's sort of weird he's signed for Ineos and hasn't gone to a development team um, because I don't know how much racing he's going to get, but they clearly reckon his numbers are good enough uh, that he can just whack it uh, left, right and centre, no stress. I guess I'll just start him off on the easier races, like the 2.1s that they do, um, and then just see how he goes. I guess it also depends. You know, He doesn't look the smallest of riders, so maybe he'll be more of a time trialist uh, as well as going uphill, like a GC guy, or maybe a pure time trialist. Um, or may, you know, maybe someone in, um, who is a little bit heavier but can still get up the climbs, no stress. But anyway, I'm just going to show you the rest of this. Um, but anyway, just watching, hope you'd enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Manzi, la moto del giudice in moto Giuntini, ma non abbiamo visto eh, però eh, all'atleta all della Casano Mate che, che è segnalato comunque il primo inseguitore ma è avvicinato anche da Brunori intanto siamo veramente ormai alle battute conclusive siamo ormai a 310 metri di altitudine questo è in fatti Casa al Vento la località eh, che sta accogliendo la conclusione per la prima volta di una gara ciclistica nel ricordo di Franco Ballerini e sta accogliendo Leonard eh, verso il successo, gli sportivi applaudono il corridore eh, del eh, team Franco Ballerini Michael eh, Leonard ecco entrato nel, ormai nella zona transennata perché siamo veramente a 100 metri dalla conclusione come ci ricorda il cartello e dunque il successo nella prima gara stagionale della categoria Juniores in Toscana è di Michael Leonard, il corridore canadese che va a tagliare il traguardo, lo vediamo in queste immagini dalla telecamera fissa, successo dunque tra gli applausi, tra l'entusiasmo